Just victorious. victorious. Do you want to do the intro, Ro? I think you got it, mate. Joey, you want it? You got it? <laughs> you got it. Ro, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah. Like, just, just say, welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> welcome back to the Victorious yeah. Podcast. Let's go. Okay, okay. Welcome back. Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, baby. We're finally all here. We've always had something going on, but we're back. I don't even know how long it's been with all three of us. Ralph tried stealing my role just then, but <laughs> <laughs> I am the rightful host. How are you, Ralph? How are mate, you? I'm good, mate. I'm sorry, I to, I'm sorry I had to do that too. No, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't I, well, well, I could see there was, there was nerves. There was pressure. You, didn't, <laughs> you don't need that at 7 o'clock on a Monday night. But um, you been good? Yeah, mate. Been good. Just um, just been training with Joey a bit, trying to get fit again. Mm. Not too sure what I'm gonna do at the end of the year, but I do know like I wanna give footy like a pretty good crack. So um, yeah, just keep training. Get yeah. Get a bit fit on me. Stay safe. Working on the team. Working on the team. That's it. JDC, how you been, brother? <laughs> nah, been good, bro. Doing the same old. Uh, just training and that. Nothing's changed, mate. How about yourself? It never does. Well. Funny to ask, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been training pretty hard myself. But, um... Don't give me that look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't remember the last time I trained. But, um... This week as a whole, just flew in from Perth a couple of days ago. I had a week in Perth. Um, but I've, it's probably the least amount of travelling I've done sort of in the last three weeks, other than that little stint. But, other than that, been grounded, been good. How was it? It was... Right, it's... It's a different different city over there. It's, it's sort of like a... I don't know, have you ever been to like... I don't know. Well, I'm not going to lie. People have compared... That have been to Perth to Canberra. Is that true it is, false? It is a similar... Like, it's more like spread out than higher up. Like, they yeah. don't have as many like, like the big skyscrapers and things like that. Um, and sort of you can tell it's like easier to get around. Like, it's yeah. a bit more planned out. I think that's yeah. the difference between Canberra and so many other cities. Is it was... Like, you know, properly planned out. Yeah. Um, but there was like a Canberra vibe to it. Bit of a sort of Adelaide vibe. Had like the really nice old buildings. Yeah. Um, and sort of Melbourne vibes in sort of the energy that was around. But also very racist. Really? Yes. Yeah. Very racist. And, I mean, they were the second highest votes in no. So, <laughs> I should have been you a bit prepared. prepared but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, first day... Um, so well, you wouldn't know behind behind the camera. Um, I went there over there for work, and it was a bunch of days of conferences, Aboriginal conferences. Um, so I was wearing Aboriginal clothing. Um, so it was pretty clear that I was either an ally to the black people that thought what like Aboriginals can't have fair skin, or that I was Aboriginal. So I was walking past all these fellas one morning, and they looked like they were having a joyful conversation. There was about four of them. Looked like they were happy to be alive and all the rest. Until I walked along, <laughs> they <laughs> ruined their conversation, stopped dead in their, like their tracks of talking, stared me up and down, just started shaking their heads. Are you serious? <laughs> honest, oh my God. honest to God, Bro. that's rank. I, I thought I haven't even had my coffee for the morning. How? <laughs> what, what? What time was it? Oh, eight thirty. They're waiting oh. for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> their boss is Jeez. calling them up, wondering if they're coming in on the Monday morning. And yeah, I was just like, oh well, that's yeah. You know, get it out of the way early, you know. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, future, and a couple other people around the conference had like made mentions of it and sort of the looks and a couple of comments they'd heard in passing and stuff. But um, I don't know, like if that was an individual of, like moment, I'd be like I am worried about the city and the whole state. But <laughs> for my own safety, I wasn't because I knew where I was. Yeah. And at any given moment, probably some old six-year-old auntie was going to flog someone with a cane <laughs> if they said the wrong thing. So. Felt pretty like safe in that sense, but other than that, um, really pretty city, really cool sunsets um, over west. It looked fresh as your post on Instagram. Yeah, some of your TikToks and that I was watching there. It looks going nice. Yeah, stepped my game up there. Had had to step it up over there. And then, um, fun story, very fun story. So the, I was staying in a hotel, and then you'd walk up the road, and there was the Hyatt, which was the hotel where the conference was. Guess who else was staying at the com- at the where the conference was? The hotel. Who? Never thought you'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> the Matildas. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So I walked in Tuesday morning. So there was a conference Monday, and then Tuesday was the prep for the next couple of days of conferences. And we had like a booth, like a da- table and stuff like that. 
So I had to go in and set the table up. So I've just got my headphones on. I'm in the zone. I'm mentally prepared to just go and, go and get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right here. I could just see, like, you know, when, like, you're, you know when you're on your phone, you sort of can see people's, like, coming toward, like, you can see sort of their lower legs and stuff. I thought, oh, yeah. Right, look up. Sam Kerr. That's crap. <laughs> and me, me being what? the absolute smooth operator that I am, I said out loud to the highest paid female athlete in the world, holy fuck, you're Sam Kerr. Out loud. <laughs> she laughed at me. I said, yeah, I am. So that was... Was that the combo? That was it. Else, no, yeah, no, no, no. Didn't ask, didn't, yeah, didn't want to take me out for dinner or anything. But, you know. <laughs> but it was really cool to see... The audacity. The audacity. Well, there, I've, I think there's other other key factors <laughs> playing on why she didn't take a bloke out for dinner. But... Um, <laughs> but I'm not going to go into it. Um, but it was really... It was mad just to sort of see them, like, go about their day... Um, and prep too, like the pool and stuff was there, so we we're constantly seeing them go to like the pool, and then I like, can see them around. The, well, I, I wasn't sitting, I wasn't sitting in the pool tower. Just going there, but yeah, I just loved seeing them go. But like, I'm so I'm so glad you find it funny. Wow. No, no. <laughs> I just gets cut out. <laughs> I wasn't staring, but like, I'm not even going to go on with this story. No. But just to see how they were prepping and things like that, because it was like, as you'd walk in, you could see the pool. That's... <laughs> and then I would go in. No. <laughs> some, some, bloke, some bloke actually, because they people kept asking them for photos, and I said, no, it's a team policy. We can't take photos in the hotel. Um, and some bloke actually like was waiting at the pool for him. Like, oh, I want to get a photo. I was like, no, I know, buddy. <laughs> I don't exactly You're in your forties. <laughs> yeah, 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 this wasn't some. Uh, yeah, no. But um, oh, you've got me sweating. But um, it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty mad. I got to see all the, um, I guess like the superstar, except Mary Fowler. I didn't see Mary Fowler until I actually went to the game. Is that the one that wears gloves? Yeah, the one yeah. that's supposedly with Nathan Cleary. Yeah, I've been, right. no, I've been seeing that actually. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, so pretty cool week, some pretty cool moments. Um, or did you go to the game? Like? Just a couple of people from work. No, yeah. yeah. Um, and it was so weird to think like Australia is arguably, or not even arguably, like based off World Cup results, top five soccer country in the world for women's. Yeah, and crazy. the crowd was like 15,000 people. And I was just like... What? Yeah. I mean, it was a small stadium too, but the stadium wasn't sold out or anything. Right. Tickets like sixty bucks. So to just the to the game. I was yeah. like, that's crazy. And like for the seats, like for a box it was like two hundred and fifty. Like it wasn't Nothing much. Nothing expensive. Nah, like yeah, like you could go They'll sell them out city in that one, they bought. Yeah, well because to no, yesterday they versed the Philippines, they absolutely like cleaned the field of them. I think it was eight nil or something, seven yeah. nil. Um, and now there's rumours that in their next game in February they're going to go to the MCG and sell it out. Yeah, right. So that's 100000 So 15000 to 100000 Yeah, well. <coughs> yeah. It's good to see. It's good to see. Up the tillies. But, um, yeah, that's all that's been happening with me. Like, in all honesty. It was a big week, though. It was a big week. But, um, Charlie, you actually said when we were setting up the camera that you had some stuff on your mind. <laughs> That you might want to share with the pod. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. I have something for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have asked sooner. <laughs> nah, on the weekend, bruh. In DFO. Bike kebab. Boom, bite into it. Massive piece of hair, bruh. Oh. <laughs> that oh. future, bruh. I just cut it out straight away. Told my missus go quickly get some water. Bruh, no, but it was disgusting, no, bruh. That's rank. It was actually. Did you like, surely you just gave it back to him and said at full what speed, is this? a throw? From <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went back and <laughs> they didn't even know. I just saying, yeah, like that was that like. Oh, oh no, that's embarrassing. It surely doesn't matter. Surely not. It's connected to your voice. Yeah, it's all connected. by <laughs> technology these days, man. No, well, that's re- bro. That's like the worst thing as oh, like right. any like when you go to get food. That's like the worst thing that can happen. Oh, well, not, <laughs> okay, it's not the worst now thing. You, now you understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bro, that's pretty... It'd be up to chat. 
<laughs> Especially a long, like, <laughs> just imagine him just doing that, the <laughs> bro, nah, like, I, like, I've been into it, bro. I felt it, but it, like, you're not just going to think, God, oh, this is here my food. My miss has seen it. Is that hair? Boom, spit it out. Massive piece of hair. Your missus could say that it was hair. Yeah. Bro, this, was it one strand? <laughs> yeah, we yeah one strand. But was anyway. Take a strand, don't you? <laughs> nah, it was, it was actually putrid, bro. Then I walk back up there, and this lady, she's like, who made your order when it was her? <laughs> there's, like, there's like four bald guys at the back she's like, I, don't she, know, I don't know I don't know she would have known because it was like one minute ago yeah. yeah and then she's like oh did she make it and I, I just said like nah I, I can't remember I <laughs> thought she was in that show anyway <laughs> I'll put her on the spot as if you're like you're just inspecting the kid <laughs> in the kitchen that's that's the right they give you at the kebab shops so you get to watch who makes your kebab but it's... nah and then just got my money back and was very angry man yeah, no, I don't know. Did, 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 did you get anything else after, or was that just sort of day ruined? No, nah, I just got some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Cheered him up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't even swallow my spit, eh? Like, went to the bathroom, got that water, switched my mouth out, spat it out like 10 times. Yeah, oh. no, that's right. That is. Saint Leak in the middle of it. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> shout, out, shout out, Lucas. <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out to Leak. I wonder what he's up to right now at a quarter at eight. On a Monday, but um, <laughs> just probably good vibes, I guess. Love you, Lake. Um, any good stories from your life recently, Real? <sighs> any good stories? What happened in Townsville? So we haven't even done one since you got there. Oh, True. in Townsville, yeah, no, Townsville was Townsville's gone as but off. Like I loved up there, eh? like just even just Dante's whole family, like they're all welcoming, like they're all mad and that, and just Townsville itself, like it's just I don't know it's like it's like. City vibes, but then you got like the beach and that there too. Like I don't know, I just like the hot. Like yeah. it's not packed. There's no big traffic yeah. and stuff. It's just a nice place and that. But yeah, no, I was gone as um, we're not there for Dante's twenty first, and um, uh, he had a family event up there as well. And um, yeah, no, I, don't, I think I was drunk for like twelve days out of the fifteen I was there. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's a big strike. Right? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. That's a try to. Try to like try to pace yourself. Yeah, but it didn't happens. work out too well. No, it but happens. no, yeah, no. Kind of I'm, like I actually want to move up there for like a year and like suss it out. Like how it is living there um, yeah. at the end of the year. So um, when was the longest walk in Townsville? I think. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't <laughs> talk about oh. getting drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, nah. I said that for. I just said that for the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like, it was going to walk. Apparently, um, the Cowboys have to, like, in their preseason, they actually run up there. Is that stuff. that hill? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Castle Hill. Yeah, I actually. Um, Boats track or something like that. Oh. Maybe it was someone signed with the Cowboys the other day or something like that. And I was sussing the comments, and I like, can't wait to see you running up the hill. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's definitely. This clearly must be like a. Unless they're just a serial like stalker, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just can't wait for you to run up that hill. So. <laughs> no, it was like good walking that boat, mad views from there. Like you get up mm. to the top, and it's like pretty relieving. That like, is that you see the whole. Of town is there like, like is there a training field at the bottom of that? Yeah, there is. There is two. <clears throat> so if you if once you get up there, I'm pretty sure it's like down to the right and that. But I think I'm pretty sure it's a school though. But there uh, is a like, there is yeah, a yeah. there. Um and oh on that. There's, oh, there's a story, so, on the hill, like, it's, I don't know, like, they don't know how he's done it, but some lad, he went to uni there, there's a massive, like, stick figure, I'll try to find photos of his or something, but there's a stick figure drawn there, and he must, and, like, the equipment needed, the equipment needed to, to do that, he definitely wouldn't have had, or they don't know, like, they don't well, know like, how like, rock or something. Like, so, on the side of the cliff... On, yeah, on the cliff of like, so you get up to the hill and that. Well, actually, when you're driving on the Strand, which is like the main, like the yeah. main strip of Townsville, bro, you look to the right and you can see it. Like it's that big. Yeah, what? Like, it's huge. And at like at night time, I don't know if it's because of this, but they have the like lights there that, well, it's on it, so yeah. you can see it at night as well. And um, yeah, they don't know how he did it or anything. And people now, like professionals, go back and repaint over it. Oh, yeah. So it's been embraced. Yeah, yeah, like. It's like a little... 
It's a cool thing. It's, a, it's an icon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that statue in Double View. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> Fitz is a big admirer. So, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, no, Townsville was kind of ours and yeah, that's just, we'll what's, what's, that was I just, I don't think we could crack the heat up there, Joey. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, he would, I know him, he would hate it proper. It's, um, well, like, uh, that's what I was thinking as well, like with the trains and stuff, mm. like, I'm, I'm, Surely they just do it at night because even at yeah. night it's, bro, well, it's even, still hot out. Yeah, like the I know Darwin Rugby League they play it like fully exclusively. They play their games at night, train at night. Yeah. Um. So I can't like obviously Darwin's a whole different city, but mm. I imagine like that part, like that whole top section of yeah. Australia, once you get sort of into that sort of last bit, yeah, you're nah. just sort of dabbling in that. It would have to oh, bro, like train just walking around during the day. It's just. Too hot to even just go out walking. Do you know what right, I mean? Well, that happens to you and I. Like, <laughs> so, in 19 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and a breeze. Yeah. Nah, but... Um, yeah, it should be alright. I'll suss it out. Like, I was... Because I just... I also looked at, like, some of the footy players that will sign there. Like, these big, like, lads and stuff. And I'm just thinking, like... If they can do it. Like, moving from, like, Sydney or whatever. Yeah. If they can do it, like, surely. Well, like, I imagine, it, like... Because Queensland is... Like, the... It's such a community state. Like, mm. if you're in a town, you're in the community sort of thing. Um, so I imagine it'd sort of be the city that, like, would really embrace you. Like, yeah. and you could embrace it. Um, especially the mad cow. I heard that's pretty, hmm? pretty easy. Oh, oh, bro, that's another story, actually. Oh. When I was there... They're all coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> this must be the three days he was sober. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was smashed. Um, no, when I was there, bro, with that whole thing that was happening with Valentine Holmes, I actually seen him. Oh, you took it. You took huh? the photo. No, I didn't no. Oh. Yeah, that was a selfie. <laughs> no, but yeah, I was seeing him that night, um, and Jason Tomwell as well. So I'm sure they would have been in good, respectable states. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> they were definitely there. Yeah. No, but yeah, he like got a photo of him that. Like, it's pretty cool. With the, or is it mm-hmm. with the? No, that was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Already, that, was, no, I mean, <laughs> that had been eliminated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the NRL had already gotten onto him for that one. <laughs> and then actually. Um, a couple of days from that, or I, whenever their presentation was, we went to the casino because it was like Dante's uncle who flew in, or mm. his godfather flew in from, I think, South Australia or something. It's his last day, or last night there, so we went to the casino and that, and then seeing, they have a, this might be a dumb question, they have like a girl team, eh? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, they, both teams were all there, like, they were all like dressed out, like fresh as and stuff, and. Like, it was just cool, like, seeing them all out. Like, yeah. Cowboys players and that. Oh, because that would have been the, the whole club, you know? Yeah, 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 the whole club was there, yeah. Um, was JT there? He was, was there. actually. No. Nah, oh, wow, he might have been. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, been like, you personally weren't allowed in that <laughs> section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that would have been cool to sort of see the whole club. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was doing respectable. Oh, and yeah. actually, no, nah, one more thing. Oh, go. go I go. was down, because they got, like, <laughs> the casino is, like, real fancy now that when you go at the back of it, it's like this outdoor area and you can go downstairs. They've got like a mad pool and stuff. If you stay there, like you can go there. Would you watch stuff. people in that pool? Or, like, I'm not you... <laughs> <laughs> Would you wait for a water go out? So... <laughs> no. Well, I was on, I was on FaceTime with my mum, like just showing her and stuff. And Luciano Lelou, is that his name? Yeah, Luc- Luciano Lelou. Yeah, they, him, I think maybe his missus and like, a few of like the Cowboys, like they were getting photos. Yeah. And where I was standing, was like, like, so they were getting photos and you can see like the beach and stuff, like it's mad. But I was just like walking around, like, you know, you just do random shit when you're on, on your phone. Yeah. I was like just doing random shit, walking around. And then he was just like, hey bro, can you get out of the photo, bro? I was that oh. shame, like I was shame as. Because I didn't know, bro, I've like walked up <laughs> to them, just not knowing what I'm doing, just like showing my mom, like the place and stuff. <laughs> and it was, bro, I was, didn't know where to put my head and I wasn't <laughs> pissed yet. So it was so embarrassing. Oh, that's a fully sober moment. Yeah. I'm just nah. embarrassment. <laughs> I would have just jumped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Any, any more stories? No, nah, I think I'm good. That's enough. enough? I think I'm good. That's enough. Well, I guess that's enough of the sharing of personal lives. Um, I guess it's time to talk business. Business. Obviously, we're on the, the back end of the most recent drop. The website shut. How long ago now? From today? Uh, probably like a week. Yeah, we're a week. We're a week post drop. Um, and I reckon that's the most. I don't know. I can't speak for both years, but I don't, you'll answer it because I'll make you. Um, <laughs> I reckon that was the most fun we've had 
like releasing a drop. Yeah, yeah, the preparation and all that that went into it, like the promo video and that. Yeah, video. yeah, no, it was good. I mean, yeah, that was uh, definitely our best marketing. Like with that video, yeah, I haven't done something like it yet, and then the photo shoot was good as photos were clean as as well. Mm. Um, no, it was definitely like, like planned out the best, like the marketing it was the best that we've done and just need to keep on. Yeah, and I think that was sort of like, um, we've harped on a bit about like us needing to make sure we understand like the schedule of the drops and stuff better. Yeah, and I feel like with that as well, like that video, like we didn't just, it, like, well for me anyways, it didn't really feel rushed, like we rushed into it. I remember like, like we met up here and we were um, talking about it and like, trying to put ideas together about it and stuff like I feel like everything was like pretty planned yeah going yeah. into it yeah I think that's the, sort of that result of like we spoke enough about needing to make sure the schedule mm. worked and so we got it, all of our shit together and then we did and sort of we had good results from it yeah um, but no I, I really enjoyed the drop um, and I know a couple like obviously people that brought it they've all, they've enjoyed it our loyal yeah. soldiers they, <laughs> they love it well and I feel like that is well. well. yeah with that as well, like the video, like everyone was getting around it. Like well, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I seen it. Like I was just swiping through my stories and it was off there. Yeah, I had to like, mute the phone. <laughs> How many times can we be mentioned in someone's story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably one of our most viewed things on Insta. But it's good to see, like everyone, like you said, getting around it and yeah. like even if you don't buy something, like still sharing the post, like helps. yeah, hundred percent. Not even like if they're like getting some like want to get the shirt, but. Like, just seeing the meaning behind, like, what the shirt actually meant could yeah, even help someone as well. Yeah. Give yeah. them a little bit of motivation or whatever. And then, on the back end, well, it was sort of happening at the same time. We had the little collaboration with um, the boys over at uh, FA Fitness. <laughs> FA Fitness. Um, can someone, for the love of God, tell a funny joke on one of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, they've been going up to the most dry. I don't know, yeah, I don't know, like, if they're just, they can just tell if someone can't tell a joke, but... <laughs> what would you say? Ted said... Oh, leave it with me. But, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when, especially when, like, it's on the spot. I reckon you He almost cracked to, to nothing, but I'm pretty sure I've seen the video. Was that one where he was just dead like, silent? Yeah. yeah. Staring at him? That would have... The uncle one, I was just like, is he... Is he right. Yeah. Like, there was a, it's weird, eh? There was a couple... Yeah, there was a couple moments where I was sort of like, oh, even if you do laugh, don't, don't give him a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't, don't want to wear on it. But um, that's, been, that's been sort of fun too. They released a nice little video for... Um, yeah, that video was kind of nice. Yeah. He's good at editing, eh? And I think he, he does it all on phone as well. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. tough, bro. No, that's gun. Yeah, and... I mean, they've been super supportive and we love what they do. So, I mean, it's sort of, uh, they're big right now in the community. We're trying to get there. Works out, sort of like that collaboration and supporting each other. Yeah, um, so that was good to see. Who have we had? You want to other? touch on the Luke Knight round show? Oh. Ah. Uh, we sent it out to, like, uh, footy player Liam Knight. Um, oh, I said Luke. Oh, oh my bad. If you ever hear it, it's so Luke Knight. Yeah. Passionate listener. <laughs> nah, that yeah, was good. <laughs> Got a fair bit of um, eyes on the brand, so um, in one of his posts. Again, what? Nearly 20k followers, plays for the Bulldogs, played Rabbitohs, has played Raiders, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was funny. Yeah, he's been in the NRL for a while, pretty solid, like, pretty good player, so I think we need to just. Keep on doing stuff like that, getting out to footy players, you know, people that are well known and like influencers and that. Yeah, yeah so they keep on growing, hundred percent. Yeah, and that's that sort of like, I guess those are sort of the licks you've got to take at the start. Is sort of you know, sacrifice you know, a couple bits of you know free product and stuff like yeah. that, mm. just to sort of spread. It. Everyone does it. Like it's not like it's a secret or anything like that. Like I mean, sometimes you got to fork out the money to get them to wear it and things like that. Yeah. But in the end that's what investments are it's sort of a gamble hopefully it plays off and I know it's just good to see like it's a person that would definitely and will did support our message of the brand and sort of our style as a whole so it was a pretty cool moment to sort of um, I guess reflect on like I put up a TikTok the other night of um, sort of like a like a little gallery of sort of where it all started mm. and you know that was like 10 months ago now all laughing in your okay. missus kitchen <laughs> thinking about like how we'd all make it work and sort of here we are 
right. partially making it work. <laughs> but um, I don't know it's cool to see sort of you know we're coming to the back end of 2023 and it's, it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. No, it's been mad, bro. Like yeah. seeing that little that thing they posted the other day was actually pretty mad. Like, yeah, thank me later. <laughs> like even if you go back and watch like our first like content videos and that. Yeah, it's terrible. No, oh, you've only got to look at our last Instagram post. It doesn't take long to <laughs> scroll down to the bottom of that. It's a hard look, but but um, I think and I think that's sort of evident in sort of like any brand and yeah, things like well, that. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to touch on. Like, it doesn't like even the people that I watch. Like, I think it's just normal. Like that sort of stuff. Well, yeah, like, chunks in that for you that the lads that I watch on TikTok. Like, I watch their first videos and compared to now. And you just see like the growth from that, and I feel like even us as well. Like we've grown heaps since we first even yeah. started, and we just have obviously like heaps of more room just to keep going and that. But yeah, like I watch their videos and stuff, and like just I don't know, like their editing and all this other stuff. Like it's gonna like you got to learn it. Like yeah, or just get rich and get. Well, that's the thing. There's there's your start point, and then there's you doing it all yourself, and then if it all works out, like you just get to reap the rewards. Yeah. Like you've got to put in that middle ground. And that's yeah, what we're very early into the middle of the ground, but you know, we want to get to the other side of it. But yeah, that's sort of it's just been cool to sort of, you know, we've got our schedules together a bit better. We, you know, we've got the podcast sort of rolling now. Mm. Like, we just had Laz's release just before we're recording this one, which yeah. I was like, that was fun. That was a fun little <laughs> chat. That um, was the best one, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. And it's one that, like, People will tune in more just because of the interest of like, oh, you know, like even the edit you put up to announce it, like we're in the Sunshine Coast Falcons and yeah. and then the, yeah, yeah, the nice, yeah. Melbourne kit. Yeah, good editing, Joey. Proud of you, mate. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, see, so, so, and that's, that's probably what we... back in a couple of years. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so those sort of like little bits of, you know, extra detail yeah. get, the, get the attention. Um, but no, I reckon that was our best one. I reckon that was yeah, our best it was one. Yeah, it was going. Like he was, like could speak really well and like had a mad story to share as well. And so yeah. Just the beginning, like could get him back on in a couple of years. Could have a couple of NRL games under his belt. This that. Hundred percent. Could it be even better? But that nah, was a mad chat. Yeah, and I think, I mean, we're just laughing at how hard it would be to tell a joke in ten seconds. So <laughs> to sit down in front of like this sort of setup for. Mm. Like, we ended up going for like 50 minutes, eh? Yeah, nearly an hour. Yeah. yeah it was like 55 minutes, I think. Huh. When I stopped. <laughs> we no, I just... <laughs> <laughs> um, but like to do that, like it's, you know, it's hard for someone to do for their first time and just start rattling stuff off yeah. um, for that long. Um, so I think that's also a credit to him. Like clearly, um, he's gone through his like wife becoming well-spoken and things like that, which is, yeah. you know, hard to do. Yeah. Um, which was mad. No, yeah, it was just a good, fun experience. Um, we all sort of watched from the outside in his little, like, parts of his journey, but to see it all laid out in front um, and on the table was pretty cool. Rail behind the camera, being the a camera. photographer. I liked it. I did like it. <laughs> not too bad, eh? No, not too bad. I was... I, was, I got a couple good shots. No, I, no, I did No, that's what I'm... I was, I was doubting. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. There was... Good there was doubt. Ones. But, man, okay. you did better than... Um, Dante kicking that ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was, it was like watching a little kid walking around with a wooden sword <laughs> and a ping pong ball at the ripe age of twenty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but and that's also the thing too, like to think about those little like funny moments mm. that we've had sort of in you know ten months, nearly eleven. It's yeah. been mad. No, it's been a kind of journey, like just seeing from like we talked about before. That night at um, Joey's Misses, even that chat that we, I think we met up at Rashe's or something. Was it Rashe's? No, the very start. The very start. Oh, yeah. I think I was in a bit of a food coma after that. <laughs> yeah, um, no, nah, but just seeing like our journey and like our growth and that, like, and I'm just like pretty excited to see like what we, like where we are next year. For example. Yeah, like, 100%. Just, like, end of next year, like this time next year will be mad. Um, no, nah, it's been gone, but. Mm. Can only get better. I hope, so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I'll be We've actually like progressed like so much and even learnt so much about editing clothes, like 
the way that the clothes are GSM, like yeah. what fabrics and shit you want to use in that. Yeah. Mm. And like, well, we just keep on building. We have a mad, like, the rest of the year is going to be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty excited, and like, to sort of see out till Christmas. Yeah. And then probably have, just like every business, have that little rest. Christmas party. Draw it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Boss is shouting for a Christmas party. <laughs> That's <laughs> Oh, <laughs> heard he's putting all of our old dinners together. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could eat for the whole Christmas this bloke. Um, but yeah, like we'll probably have our reset, reset, draw up the year, sort of when we want to release what, and then bang, trot along. Yeah. Twenty twenty four. Hey, and Kevin Hart. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> the shirt's coming next, but. I reckon we make another promo video for that. Mm. Again, more of that street vibe, and then the vibe's going to completely change. Yeah. Jack Missy take <laughs> over. <laughs> they finally let the kid loose. <laughs> 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 they had me sitting in the 17 jersey on the bench, and they put me on with 20 minutes to go. We're about to, <laughs> we're about to, we're about to see Spencer Lee new vibes. But um, well, I've gone from comparing myself to Joe Martin to Spencer Lee. New. I'm sitting on more of a... Uh, I don't even know. Scotty Sorens. <laughs> Better rig. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no. That, and that's, like, a really cool thing, too. And then, I don't know, we've all sort of taken turns having our say in it all. And that's all it's ever been, and that's all we ever said it was going to be. Yeah. Um, just us throwing shit out that we want to wear. Because yeah, like... the economy we live in is way too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Make our own clothes, brother. Yeah, no. Got some ideas. I like, still want to try and plan out an event somehow. Mm. Like, they'll, they'll be gone, but like, even if it doesn't get done this year, at least we'll have more time to plan it next year. Yeah, yeah. I want to do, like, a, a non-profit drop and, like, all the money that we make, like, put it towards something, like, I don't know, it could be, like, going to feed the homeless or... Yeah. Like a charity or something yeah, like that. Like, yeah. yeah. Something like that. That'd be pretty mad as well. Um, just try, like, Help the community in that. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I think we just got to think of some like more ways, like I've already said before. Just try keep on trying to get everyone on board and that. But yeah, if we get that event thing done, well, yeah, we go nuts because it's not even just like it's like we've talked about. It's not even about us really. Like it is, yeah. it is, but it's not like we're not just going in thinking like, oh, this is blah blah. Like we're like we talked about like trying to get some like local. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I said too much. Oh. He's exposed. Yeah. No, but no, it's not nah. us and full stop. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just, I'm, yeah, once again, that's preaching what we've built sort of on is, you know, we want to do it for everyone else too, have a bit of fun with it because not much of this sort of stuff happens outside, like in Canberra and mm. doesn't make it outside of Canberra sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then all the dates... That pre-season's got to be around the corner soon, or what? I hope not. When do you start? Well, I don't know. I've been avoiding the messages, I think. <laughs> nah, um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I better, better check in on that. I hope they haven't torn up the contract before I even, even got to a training session. But I don't know, like probably, I don't know, mid-November. Like you usually do a couple little runs before Chrissy break sort of thing. Yeah. But I don't know for an exact date. I don't know. But you, what you'd be kicking off soon? Yeah, well, for some of Rangers, it's starts this week. Oh, oh, this way. Trick question. I knew that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> for some of Tigers, it's on the twentieth. Oh. So. I get that little delay preseason, or is that because you're a veteran of the club over there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll see what happens. Up. But no, I'm pretty keen for preseason. Eh, feeling good. Had a deload week. Was just doing off feet at the gym and body feels good as now. I heard you've been eating well this week too. The hair and kebab and lemon on watermelon. <laughs> Do you want to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the greatest food hack <clears throat> of all time? That I've had, yes. Well, it's pretty gone. It's pretty gone. But greatest. Yeah, yeah, oh. probably like fruit, like the, like, bro, you, the taste. You might have to walk people through it. What What is the food hack? The food hack. Yeah. Buy a watermelon, cut it into pieces, grab a lemon, 
Squeeze it on, and it's the best thing you've ever had in your life, cat. It's that simple. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon the price max is out on that? Like fifteen dollars. Um, that price right, stolen. Yeah. 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 Fifteen dollars. Feed, feed the kids all well, the summer. What? It depends. Yeah, like, how much? How big? How, is the water? how big? Oh, water? Well, I don't know. You've been buying them. I, <laughs> I'm just being in quarters. Like, yeah. Six dollars. Oh, no, true. Yeah, oh. yeah. That was quarter. Well, I'm in one dollar ninety-seven cents. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be a Woolies catalogue around this bloke game. Yeah. <laughs> he'll know his prices but um, that's our that's our stay healthy tip right there lemon and watermelon <laughs> have you been um, watching the footy the like Pacific t- uh, no <laughs> <laughs> um, not only because of the time differences oh yeah because that's it's been like he's been carving up anyways who yeah. would have thought <laughs> no, I thought NZ were going to give him a good go the other day as well and Aussie rested like Payne House and Tino mm. and still like won pretty good it's crazy eh like I, it's just I don't know why they, they let it happen like there should be like an A team and stuff too to sort of because Roos have just pumped out just the Roos the Kangaroos that's it yeah um, but I reckon they should do like an A team and stuff because what the Daly M player of the year isn't even in the Australian squad. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And the best fullback of this year is only in it because Josh Anakar wanted to start slinging people around mission style at the knockout. Like, <laughs> the team's so hard to crack. Mm. Um, so I think, like, as mad as it's to see, like, we're getting robbed of a couple of people's yeah. um, like moments in green and gold, I guess. But also... The, they're the Ferns in the women's the Kiwis yeah, yeah. beat the yeah, girls 12-6 I believe I think it's the first it's first time in like years I'm not going to put a direct number on the years but I think Kiwis beat them last year I would have thought it was like some nah, oh <laughs> <laughs> right uh, well anyway we'll wrap it up <laughs> but um I mean that was like I didn't get to watch the game, but like twelve six. Yeah, I didn't see. Would have been. Watch it either. Would have been. Oh well, let's just stop talking about it. like twelve <laughs> six. Like and but also just to know that it's all happening behind the scenes. Like there's all the and then there was the um, lead up to it. There was the prime ministers. I watched like the prime ministers and all the other girls playing that one. Prime minister thirteen. Yeah. Oh, that was kids. <laughs> so, sorry, but um, yeah, it was kids play. <laughs> <laughs> just pumped him though. Did but, you see that um? The boxing the other day, bro. Francis? Yeah. Bro, I haven't... I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch the fight, but everything I've seen... And I was like... Yeah. A lot of people obviously have their, like, um, opinions in that. But when the... It's like... It's not a 50-50, like, majority are mm. saying, like, he won and stuff. Then I've seen this little snippet, bro. I don't know if you've seen it. Is that Tyson the guy? Tyson Pierce, <laughs> And then just elbows yeah. him clean, like, in the face. The... Oh, you bro. watched it? Great. Bro, that's... No, that, and that's what Ooh. I'm saying. I don't know. Like, it would have been close, but, like, how was that, like, not a point deducted? Yeah. Just mm. clean elbow, bang. Yeah. They didn't even say nothing. And then... Had it coming. Then no, Francis... Didn't even drop him either. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was worried yeah, about. He just ate it, bro. Yeah. Breakfast. Francis got, um, a knockdown. Yeah, I seen that. And, um, still didn't even win. And, like, bro, in the eighth round, bro, Tyson Fury was getting bashed. Yeah. No, I've like, definitely heard him read. But I've, yeah, I've that, I'm on the same thing with you. It was like, well, if enough people have said it. I still think the biggest robbery I've ever seen in my life in boxing, 2015, Manny Pacquiao beat Floyd Mayweather fair and square, and they gave it to Floyd. Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, bro, I just remember just watching it, because it was sort of like, that was when I was starting to get into boxing like properly and like understanding it. And I just read, it was the exact same thing. It was like, how, he's only given this to Floyd so the streak continues. Like, yeah, and then he went bullshit. like, bullshit. his next like, handful of fights with him just clean winning. Yeah. And then obviously went back to many and many, then he like, fair loss. Like, Mayweather got him then. But yeah, that was, in my heart, in my eyes, Floyd's got a loss. Yeah. And that was many. I was seeing like, all these people like, Say, like, boxing lost tonight because it was that rigged. Yeah. These were, like, yeah. boxing, like, Bro, Canelo, people saying. Yeah. That Canelo, like, he's... Yeah, well, it's... Canelo. Canelo. Yeah. <laughs> he was saying, like, like, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he wasn't for it at all. No. Nah. No. Nah. And then that's the annoying thing, too, bro. Like, every... Any bloke and their dogs 
can just get like the biggest boxing fight in the world right now. I don't yeah, just... like obviously they're two combat athletes. Like you actually like oh, well, I want to watch these two fight, yeah. but like Dylan was oh, it like that? Dylan, yeah, yeah. And, that was oh bro, okay, so it's just embarrassing. Man. Yeah, and what they millions. It's just making the sport shit, but I reckon. Yeah, like it's losing its, and like boxing has always been like a bit controversial with like riggings and things like that, and then also the different belts and the different levels of belts and stuff like that. It's always been like confusing and like a bit on you know people have sort of said it's a convoluted sport, but then now this shit's happening where like anyone can be a professional boxer at any given moment like Fuck, just get famous bro and want to have a fight oh no even that. if you just do enough on like Instagram you know yeah, what I mean? what I mean. like, you don't even have to yeah. be like famous well, Tyson said um, I don't know if you've seen there was this thing like he was named after Mike Tyson yeah Tyson Fury yeah, Tyson and then Fury. he was saying like I don't know exactly what it was but he's like I think he was cut or he, he would be cut he's like imagine the guy I'm named after and like who he is yeah Training Francis and that, yeah. Like, like, you don't like he said it doesn't yeah. phase me. Enough, but. He just said like if it was personal, I'd actually be like cut. But he knows it's business and it is what it is basically. Mm. But speaking about Mike Tyson, have you seen that bloke on Instagram that like, goes up to people and asks what they do for a living? Yeah. <laughs> he put up a video. I don't know. I saw it today, so I can only imagine it would have been like not long ago. Um, of him doing like a montage of all the celebrities that he's asked. <laughs> he got to Mike Tyson and he was like, what do you do for a living? And he's like, get that camera out of my fucking face. Like, Same. and then it's like, starts arcing up. He's like, don't you remember me? And he's like, and he's just like, Mike Tyson was just like, staring at him, like, just wanted to kill him. And I was yeah, like, some of them both. Yeah. I'd drop the camera, have the phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're busy people. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't, like, they're not going to want a camera in their face. No. Asking what you do. Like, some people, I think some of them take it, Offense to it as well. Oh, you would. But that guy, bro, he just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he scares some people sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But, like, so to see. Adam Sandler as well. Oh, yeah, Adam Sandler, like, literally hit the camera. Like, yeah, like pushed push push out his like, head. Abuse him. Yeah. But, like, like, abuse him, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Well, he <laughs> watched a different video. Today, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, to see Mike Tyson at the age he is and just, like, staunch out that look, bro, he's still got it. Yeah. He. That was that thing not long ago with him on the plane. Did you fall see that? Oh yeah. Did he fall that to him or? yeah. Some some. Uh, I think he might be asking for his autograph or something. It was like he basically was getting like it was. Mike Tyson ended up being fine because he had fair reason. Oh, yeah. Like it wasn't like fair reason to hit him, but it was sort of like fair enough that you reacted the way that you did. Yeah, like, 100%. um, and just fed this bloke just <laughs> three pieces that would just put him straight to sleep. And I was like, bruh. In, like, sitting down, too. Yeah. Like, it's hard enough. <laughs> like, on an aeroplane. But, um, shout out Iron Mike. Also featured in our drop. Put up a photo of him. Yeah, especially. I think people like that as well. He's got, bro, he's actually talking about, like, athletes with the coolest pictures. He'd be up Oh, there. he's got some tough ones with him in the, in, the, in the lines and stuff. White lines. And have, you heard, have you heard him speak about the, the tigers, lines? Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the lines. The tigers, <laughs> yeah, the snow tigers. The white lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I've been it>. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard him talk about him? Yes and no. I've heard like a little story about how he needed someone to feed him or yeah. something, uh, but not like... Bro, I was listening to his episode with Joe Rogan and he was saying they went everywhere with him. Yeah. Like, he would fly them every... Like, drive them anywhere he went. They would come with him. He had, like, three of them at one stage. Um, yeah. And stuff like that. Apparently, um, it was like he couldn't... He couldn't, like, hold eye contact with them for too long. Otherwise, they'd, like... <laughs> yeah, no, they like, was... And, like, he was just, like, walking through it. But, like, absolutely adored him, bro. Like, and then pigeons, too. He's obsessed yeah, with, with pigeons. pigeons. I've seen that as well. I've seen snippets of that. Podcast. Like, he's like trains them and stuff. Yeah. That's like from when he was young, but Yeah. Like young ass. Yeah, like he's always loved them. Because um, then, yeah, they were talking about that, that guy that got found in New York City with like a crocodile and a tiger in his apartment. <laughs> yeah. What? Talk about a stressful life. <laughs> like, taking care of a crocodile, like a massive cro- a crocodile. In an apartment. Yeah, I think it was a crocodile and tiger. Yeah, now the reason they people reported it was because the, the animals started fighting or something one afternoon. Oh. <laughs> like, imagine him. Can you imagine that kicking off in yeah. your house? He's come home, busy day of work. 
of your pet tiger. Just want to watch some Netflix. It starts going off at the croc in the bathroom. <laughs> bro, that's cool. <laughs> oh, like, but um, but yeah, he bro. Wonder how he's allowed to fly them around everywhere. Apparently, it costs like hundreds yeah. of thousands. But he like just loved them that much. He just didn't even bat an eye. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be nice. I don't know, like how. Uh... Bro, they're not. They don't love you back. They wouldn't love him. No, that's what he. That, and that's what he said. He was like that. He, like he said, there was moments of affection, but like you could. He. That's what he said. You could tell that it was because of survival. Like yeah. you keep feeding them, then it's like reciprocated. The yeah. second you don't, <laughs> they yeah. they will feed themselves. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Um, but yeah, he'd have some of the craziest photos in history. I reckon him with the belt. Him getting arrested. Biting ears off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, I don't even know, I can't remember what we were talking about. How did we go on? Oh, the fight. We are talking about the fight. We are talking about the fight, yeah. Fury and that, yeah. Um, has there any, I feel like there's been heaps of crazy stuff on social media lately. Like, yeah. was, like there was that, maybe it was just that lead up to that fight. Because that Dylan was sharing every photo under the sun. Oh, of his wife? Of, yeah. You know, yeah, I've yeah, seen bro. that, bro. Bruh, I'm trying I, to get something out of him, man. Yeah, 100. It, I wouldn't allow it. I don't... I'll kill him. Yeah. You'd have to. You'd have to. But then you'd also be like, well... It's a bit... <laughs> well, I thought he was like going to be alright, that fellow, because the way he talks and some of the snippets I've seen... I, was, I have no idea who he is, but... I thought he was going to like be alright, but... Nah. No good. I will give the poor brothers credit. They are actually athletes. Like, they did... Like high level wrestling and um, like growing up, I think in like high I reckon Lo- Logan can box for shit. Huh? I reckon Logan can box. Oh, but like they're like athletes in the sense of like they're not gonna not know, like that you can sort of throw them in a sport and they'll be able to yeah. understand it, like yeah, whether they're good at. But yeah, but like so like I mean he does the WWE too. Have you seen Logan Paul saying <laughs> when he fought Floyd Mayweather that? On one hook, he felt like he was going to drop him or something. Yeah. Watch the video, bro. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> also, what an outrageous sentence, eh? Hey? Oh, when Logan yeah. Paul fought Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> like, yeah, that's actually... They, no, that's they should actually never true. be able to be in a ring together. But right. then Floyd's just doing all those exhibition fights now, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, he's just getting him back. Yeah. That's all he is, bro. Business, man. He 100%. Get, like, what, dodge some people's punches, get paid millions? Bro. Yeah. Must be nice. But, um, I think that's been everything or what? Yeah. No, that's probably... That's been life. Point. That's been the catch-up. There's probably, you know, a couple of good laughs in between that we've forgotten about, but it's been good. It's been good. Have you got anything else to say, Riz? No, I'm good. You want to do the outro? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you got anything else in your mind? No, nah, just, um, just want to say, like, thank you to, um, whoever jumped in the, um, the promo video yeah, so, yeah big shout out us big Otu behind the scenes hey <laughs> shout out up from the feed up hey. poor bloke missed dinner <laughs> no, someone feed him and Sefo. Him yeah that's you're a bad mate Sefo jumping in for us uh, doing the voiceover as well yeah was, Will Brown yeah Will Brown um, then my missus as well done that basketball bit gun sponsored athlete um, she also just got picked to do friggin' um she's been training with the caps. All the time. Oh. So that's big as Wait, that's big oh. as. Yeah, that's cool. And then um I mean, she's like sponsored athlete of us as well, yeah. so it's pretty gun. Um probably try to do some content around that soon as well. Just see what happens in the next couple of weeks. And then um yeah, shout out to Laz for jumping on as well. Shout out Laz, shout out last week and the week before, whoever Got on to the drop, mm. got the new new yeah, shirt. Sure, yeah. Appreciate it. Shout out the loyal soldiers as always. <laughs> <laughs> All of yours, we love yours. Um, and thanks for coming down, tuning in. Um, and yeah, make sure you keep up to date. New drops on ways. Follow T Riz as he goes on his journey of discovering more alcohol. Joey's train. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. But thank you very much for listening. We are done. Butts.